welcome to yet another Saturday morning vlog. And as you can see, I'm with my friend Tilted Rushab. Of course, you've seen him on my Instagram all the time because he's doing all the awesome photo and video content that you see on my feed. And of course, today we are reviewing a super fun car. You can see the the back of the car. If you haven't guessed it already, we are driving the Four Circles Audi's e-tron GT. Guys, just to let you know that we are driving to some nice roads in Navi Mumbai to shoot the car and essentially I should be driving and reviewing the car. Let me turn down the music. But you know when it comes to these car shoots, he always hijacks the... the, the, the he all, <laughs> and there's Daksh in the next car who is also going to shoot the content. But Daksh is so excited. Anyway, I'm going to get there and get into the driver's seat and, and show you some of the features of the car. I'm really excited. Rushab, what's yes. your initial impressions of driving this car? Of course, you're driving it on very crowded roads, yeah. but... It's it's very nice. It's very silent, but it's very powerful. It's super silent, yeah. but at the same time when you rev it, like, you know, you said that you had that engine kind of, that aircraft engine kind of vibe, so no? It, it powers up as like a turbine, like, mm. like, uh, how a Air, air, airplane engine powers up. Yeah. It powers up like that. It's fun. That noise is very different, but it's fun. Daksh is very excited in the next car, guys. By the way, Daksh in that next car is also going to help us shoot the video. And very, very powerful for an EV, guys. I've said this again, and I'm going to say this for the thousandth time. Guys, we need to break that, bust that myth that EVs are not, don't pack in that punch. EVs definitely pack in the punch for sure. Look at this. Like, it's a very powerful. It's it's not as exciting as driving a manual car. But yeah, you can get used to this also. You can get used to it. Yeah. I, I would say it's just it's something different. Yeah, like, it's, so a, it it's is, a new it experience. Is the, it's it, a, is, it is a change that we all need to do. But yeah, it's just And it's inevitable, now. It is inevitable. First, don't forget to hit the subscribe button because you've got all sorts of cool vlogs coming up on cool car reviews and fashion and grooming tips to, of course, my daily life and travel vlogs. So let's do this. I've got Rushab and Daksh joining me today. So they are also not only my photo and video team, but of course my content team because they love cars as much as I do and they probably have much more knowledge and they're also going to give me some of their commentary which adds so much more value to this video. So join me and we're going to have a blast today shooting this gorgeous EV. So we are just prepping for the content shoot. Daksh, what are you, you have been following us all the way from like Bandra to Navi Mumbai and yes. you have brought us to this amazing road by the way. So, kya hai first impression? Of the car? Haan, what do you think? It's first a stunner, na? Yeah, totally. Like, there's nothing else like it. So, I finally just got into the car with Daksh and we're going to shoot some content but I first want to kind of give you a bit of the first impressions of the car always love when there are these nice leather trims and this nice stitches give this very nice luxurious look no and overall the interiors look very sporty of course with these nice sports seats what do you think of these cool sports seats they are pretty good and they are quite, quite comfortable also they yeah. keep you tucked in a very pretty sporty nice. looking sporty looking steering wheel flat base signature mm -hmm. audi okay but i expected something more sporty in this in this yeah like something you know that stands out like something like an e-tron badge over here or something like that like how they give an RS. i love this little yeah like, this tail here good. which says e-tron i think yeah. it's very very understated and subtle um 
I'm kind of liking this whole very geometric vibe and there's Rushab shooting outside. What do you think of this whole geometric vibe here? Very nice, no? Minimalistic. Very minimalistic. Very minimalistic. Very so you know, what's interesting is that a lot of cars are moving away from the hard keys and hmm. towards more. But touch. here they, yeah, towards touch, and here they've got a lot of hard keys. I'm, I'm actually uh, uh, surprised like to see. But what's has really interesting touch. here is that the volume and these controls, this little knob here, is just on finger. Like, you don't actually have to turn the knob. You just like, it's so cool. It's very easily. So that you can drive as well as use it very easily. So let's see what's on the home button. Radio, media, telephone. Okay, so all your standards. I really like the so user then, interface. Is yeah. quite nice. How do you find it? I think even in dynamic, I can drive it easily and maneuver it easy, easily in the cities. Like it's not like I, I think as soon as I, I pick think primarily up the pace, this would be a city car, na? Yeah, that's what. Like if I pick up the pace, the steering is getting hard, but otherwise I can easily maneuver it, even in dynamic. And even on the bumps, it's not at all like stiff or anything. It's going very smoothly. Yeah, but. Audi suspension is no here. Yeah. Like their suspension is on point always. Huh? So interesting fun fact: Daksh and I drove the uh, Jaguar I Pace together, which I found quite like we complimented it on how quiet the Jaguar I Pace was. Yeah. This, I mean, I like this little this, turbine yeah, sound. You know, like it gives a feeling of that car car feeling. You know, otherwise you feel like what are you even driving? Like I just sprinted with it on that empty road, and that sound. <laughs> As Rushab said earlier, was like like this aircraft engine that when it's taking off, right? Like you know, I love that sound of that engine when a plane is taking off. I go crazy. That sound. It gives you that adrenaline. Yeah. And this too. Keep it in dynamic. I Keep it in have, dynamic only. We have I a lot think. of range for that. What's the range now? What are we looking at? Two ninety-eight. Fun fact: The steering wheel gets locked the minute you put it in drive mode. It activates. Okay, and I'm just going to show you this little knob that changes the indications on the virtual cockpit. So we've got the range, as you can see. I have to two k two eighty k is left. The date and time. I've got the consumption, uh, short term memory, long term memory, and driver assist, which is really cool. Okay, then we've got your like music and phone settings and everything. I really like this graphic format of the navigation system. This is really cool. Then zoom in and zoom out using this. Had the most amazing time shooting this e-tron gt all morning okay i still have 278 kilometers left i've driven from bandra all the way to khargar we've spent a couple of hours in this amazing place called parsik hill in khargar which i had never been to but it's a beautiful spot to shop please make a note of it whenever we come to uh, shoot our car content we need to uh, this thing First things first. This car is such a good-looking car that everybody on the road is like literally stopping. Just now on Parsi Hill, there were literally five people that have stopped and said, "Hey, which car is this? Which car is this? Which car is this?" 
And I think the color is quite striking too, no? Okay, let's change the drive mode. Drive select. Okay, so I'm gonna drive in dynamic mode now. So unfortunately, uh, I can't fantasize about the dynamic mode as much as I'd like to on the streets of Mumbai because after about half a kilometer you always have to slow down but definitely I notice an instant change in the overall kind of responsiveness of the car in the dynamic mode I put it back into Rushab should I do efficiency or comfort now for, comfort, for city driving all the way to uh, to Bandra. Bandra okay what I think is really cool right here is this ground clearance setting because at times Sports cars like this do tend to have a very low ground clearance and there is no bharosa of Mumbai speed breakers because they are so high that you end up your heart breaks every time you end up scrap, scratching the bottom of any of the cars especially these test cars so I'm trying to be as careful as possible so thankfully I've raised the ground clearance, raised the car a bit which is really a nice practical option for streets like Mumbai the definite comments on the touch screen, the center touch screen is amazing very 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 good um, user interface I think the UI is amazing as you can see this very minimalistic and very chic stylish design of the UI and very responsive so there's literally no lag when you kind of tap on it no device connected because I was using Apple CarPlay to connect it to music oh look there's a Starbucks but we should be headed home and not be stopping at Starbucks Audi virtual cockpit always been a fan I just love how their virtual cockpits are I'm personally not a huge fan of this hard knob here I prefer the kind of those like touchless panels in, that I've tested in other cars but I guess it works for this I love the navigation system I love this range indicator that's always there and what I think is really cool is this little knob for the volume and for the rewind and fast forward tracks which is just like a little slide slide panel it's so easy when you're driving of course you've got your controls on your steering wheels as well and through the touch screen as well so you're literally interacting with your infotainment system in three different ways which I think is really really amazing guys i hope you've enjoyed this little vlog this morning vlog that i've had and a little mini review of the audi e-tron gt i have loved driving this car first of all it's a beauty it's a beauty beauty i have seen it at the press conferences i have loved driving it so much all around mumbai from bandra to navi mumbai doing some really i was able to race it just a bit on some empty roads but um, Hopefully I've been able to show you just a few features. I am going to try out some more EVs from Audi's portfolio because they've got some pretty cool ones lined up. In the meanwhile, don't forget to leave me your comments on what do you think about this car and what's your favorite feature. I'd love to hear from you. And of course, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. 